ecosystem so as i just said we just talked about hdfs right so guys we'll talk about hadoop 1.0 versus hadoop 2.0 also so there was a version of hadoop which was called hadoop 1.0 and currently the current version of hadoop is hadoop 2.0 it's actually 2.7 but it falls under the umbrella of hadoop 2.0 right and there are some differences there are some big differences that we'll talk about but for now uh, if we just talk about the ecosystem hdfs is the storage layer of uh, hadoop ecosystem where you which is used to store data on top of that earlier it used to be directly MapReduce framework but now it has a layer called yarn on top of it yarn is yet another resource negotiator so it is like a big data operating system which is basically used to manage the resources in the system right so on top of yarn there are processing frameworks so earlier MapReduce was the processing framework which was directly on top of hdfs now it is on top of yarn okay we'll, we'll understand what exactly yarn is in tomorrow's session but for now just understand that yarn is a layer on top of hdfs and on top of yarn you have MapReduce framework and then hive pig and mahout all these other data processing frameworks are, are on top of MapReduce. okay hive pig these things are not uh, uh, the things that we are going to talk about in this course, uh, they are, uh, you know, part of our full fledged course and, but, but we'll touch upon, you know, about, you know, a brief introduction of Hive and Pig in, in uh, MapReduce session. Flume and Scoop, these are tools to import and export data from external systems into HDFS. Okay. So Flume can be used to import you are uh, streaming data into HDFS. So for example, let's say you want to capture, you know, uh, Twitter data into your HDFS cluster. So you, you can use Flume for that. Scoop is used to import and export data from other relational database management systems into HDFS. Okay. So these things remain same in 1.0 and 2.0. The only big difference between 1.0 and 2.0 is uh, MapReduce framework being on top of HDFS directly in 1.0 versus YARN framework coming in picture in 2.0. Right? And on top of that, you have Apache Uzi. Uzi is a, you know, workflow management system on top of Hadoop, which is used to schedule your workflows. So, for example, as I said, right, uh, the velocity of data, when we were talking about velocity of data, we said that every day you'll be getting data in your system and you'll be processing data every day right so uzi is something that is used to you know schedule your workflow so that every day let's say you have a job a MapReduce job which runs every day processes data of that day produces results puts them into hdfs or some external system and next day you want to run your next job right on the next day's data so uzi is a system which is used to schedule such workflows you could be writing your workflows hourly or daily or weekly or monthly it depends on the you know kind of frequency you want your reports to be generated at uh, shweta is saying she's unable to listen to me guys uh, am i audible <laughs> 